This is uh, episode one of, what are we calling this again? Rough Cuts. Rough Cuts. So this is my 1992 Dodge, uh, 4x4 long bed, diesel. And right now we're going to pick up an eight foot, big foot camper. That's a 1986 model, apparently. We'll see once we get, get there. Um, so my sister, Ashley, my brother-in-law, David, um, <laughs> looked at the camper for me. So I haven't even seen it yet, but my goal basically was to have a lightweight camper that would be small enough and nimble enough to be on the truck um, to go off grid on Vancouver Island on some logging roads. So I didn't want anything that would stick out past the bed. Uh, so that's why this is the eight foot model. So hopefully it'll fit in the bed and I can throw the tailgate up and I won't have any problems with it being too, too large. So we're on our way right now to pick it up and then we're getting ready this weekend and we're going off grid camping for all of next week for about five nights. And it's just me and David. Hopefully everything works out. What can go wrong? 290s vehicles. Prime the tailgate with the beer for the for next week. Different <laughs> <laughs> sizes. Bigfoot boy. Tomography. Yep. <laughs> Film duty. Capturing life's moments. Capturing, <laughs> capturing life's moments. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> it's like a glove, eh? Oh, that's not bad. Nice. We'll do turnbuckles at the top, okay. but try and uh, try and back them out like What's that? back them out like an inch on each side, yeah. and then we'll tighten it to the closest one. Stainless. Stainless. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones are backed off an inch, and on the uh... I got uh, you can look for a wrench in the back, David, okay. just to pull out the tie downs. Uh, Ukrainian socket set. The what? <laughs> no, there's a. Uh, I got a couple crescent wrenches in there. My main socket set. <laughs> How many boys trips do you think are gonna occur in this camper? Uh, all the boys trips. <laughs> and then Cody. Can and then Cody. Place. Well, we're going to see uh, Cody and Mary at their place. Yeah. So we'll get it to like a good distance so that way it doesn't mess up the paint. <laughs> Gotta keep that paint mint. Gotta keep that paint mint. 
All right, let's close this tailgate. Yeah! <laughs> She's sitting. I keep forgetting it's on there, which means... Yeah, the truck doesn't even know it's on there. It's there. I can definitely feel things swaying a bit more. Yeah. But like, technically. But like, I mean, this is accelerating just as fast as it was. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, like, because I can have the tailgate up and the, the brake lights are showing, like, you don't even need to hook it up. No. Like, everything's still real. But it would look cool. Yeah. <laughs> Get some RGBs we did in it. here. <laughs> you got a camper! <laughs> <laughs> So we're just doing a quick walkthrough of the interior before we start to clean anything. The goal today is to basically just um, empty everything out, clean everything out uh, before our camping trip. We're not going to do any big renovations or anything this weekend. Um, but the goal is just to really make it clean and homey. So here's a quick tour. So this we figured out last night. You can just push the, or pull the table apart, and this kind of goes into a bed. Might be a bit short. You sleep on an angle. But I think you, if you sleep on an angle, you can kind of fit a little bit better. Yeah. We'll make it comfy though, for sure. Um, so that's the whole table area. Nice big windows on this side. Storage compartments up here. There's a separator here, but you can always pull that out. Store your food, guns. <laughs> guns. And then up here is another storage compartment above the fridge that all these manuals came in. There's all the original manuals, which is actually pretty neat. Um, and then the fridge that runs off of propane and electric. We couldn't really figure out the electric so far, um, but we'll try and take a look at that later. And then coming to the other side, nice big open kitchen space. These eight foot campers, I think, came in two different models, one with a bathroom and one without the bathroom. Um, has a bit more counter space, which is nice. And then we got storage compartments up above, and then the range head, another storage compartment. So you've got like a little, I look nice. Another up here. Another little storage compartment on the range head. A good place for a lighter and stuff. Yeah. I'll have to clean that out. Closet. Storage and closet. Lots of storage. Mm -hmm. There's even storage underneath this bench seat here. Oh, and a yeah. little cubby. Actually, yeah, I'm not, not done over here. Let's oop, slip in. A couple more cubbies down here for cutlery. And then this is for the water pump. And then these are the fuses. 15 amp. And then that, that must be an outlet when you're plugged into shore power that works. Yeah. Or house battery, maybe for your. Yeah, maybe. Phone. And then uh, a heater. heater, and then more storage, four burner stove that runs off propane. And then down here, this is a cool little cubby that goes to your bed. You gotta fix that, the hinge is coming off. And then down in here um, is where your water pump and storage, or water tank is. That's where the water tank is, and then the water pump over here. That's kind of finicky. And then this window, oh, it does slide this way. Goes to your bed or your truck. And then mattress. Two little cubbies over on the. Oh yeah, a couple cubbies over here for storing your clothes, I guess, or something. Um, and then the foams. 
We're gonna pull these off and measure it out and get a nicer mattress in there. Lots of windows though. We'll see where the hatch opens. And then the hatch up top, which I think is just, uh, we'll probably unlock it here and then crank it, I'm guessing. But it's raining right now, so we're just gonna leave it closed. It's sealed. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get to it. All right, quick tour of the outside before we begin to. Um, a nice side angle shot on the driver's side. So we got water feed for your sink. If you're on, you know, at a campsite or next to a house, gray water exit um, from the sink. And then this is the 110 that comes with like a nice long 15 foot cable so you can plug in for the 15 amp. And then that's the exhaust for the propane heater. And then this is if you wanna fill up your water tank on the inside. And then in here, there's two full size propane tanks, which is kind of nice. There's one and then a second one down in there. And then that's pretty much it on this side. That's the hood, range hood vent. Oh yeah, range hood vent. That's an exterior light. Exterior light on the left hand side. David can tour this side. Behind here is your fridge components. So your whole like compressor and uh, condenser and everything is back underneath this panel. It's just open to the outside. In here, I don't have a key, but oh, yeah. um, you got a little bit of like storage. House battery and... storage. Yeah. See, so we've got two house batteries there, lead acid, um, and then you know you can store a few other things in there if you wish. Let's leave that open. You got your four jacks. Nice stainless steel. <laughs> stainless turnbuckles and tie downs. Let's and take a look at it from the front. The cool thing about this camper is it's got windows on the front. So there's a lot of light for the master bedroom, we'll call it. <laughs> for stargazing. Captain, captain's quarters. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's got a nice big window on this side too. You can sort of see. That's the one nice thing about this is all the windows are huge. But down the road. I'm gonna tint all those windows and then we're gonna pull the curtains off the inside today and just throw them out because they're kind of gross. All right, let's get yeah. to it. Okay guys, little update. As you walk in, we've taken off the blinds everywhere. Did a va preliminary vacuum, <laughs> my wife Ashley. Gone through all the cupboards and vacuumed everything out. And now we're scrubbing down the window crevices and windexing the windows. Ashley is busy vacuuming the captain's quarters. And she will wipe them down with pinsel. 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 I've gone through most of the screws and tightened them down. Um, do you have any extra spare nails? We can just tack in this trim for David the vacuuming. It's gone. <laughs> All right, quick update video on camper cleaning progress. Cleaned out the battery bins here. I got to test out these batteries and figure out how they hook up. Um, the fridge is working on electric now. We got that figured out. I got the propane tank compartment cleaned out on the other side and hooked up now. So I just got to test, we tested the propane stove all four burners burners work now we just need to test out the propane here's the cleaning team Hi. just need to test out the propane um, furnace and then test out the fridge on propane as well and then see if that works uh, these guys are going to continue vacuuming and cleaning here got all windows cleaned inside and out they're nice and clear all the blinds are out Ready for the afternoon phase? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Any words of wisdom? Don't breathe too heavily. All right, what's going on guys? Today is Tuesday and we're leaving this morning. 20th of October. 20th of October. We're all loaded up. We got everything in the camper set up the way we want to. Dave's excited. <laughs> we'll do a quick walk around and then show you on the inside and then we'll get going. Got the batteries all charged. The fridge is working on propane now, and we're gonna go off shore power before we leave. 
in the front view. Got all our tools loaded up. Propane's all loaded on the other side. <clears throat> Get the light on here for a sec. There's a couch area. And David's bed. <laughs> Looks way better, eh? <laughs> and then the upstairs bed. And then we got all food and stuff in the storage cabinets. And then, you know, our sink and kitchenette area is all nice and clean now. We're bringing the cooler because we don't really know uh, if the fridge is going to cooperate. I think it is. Um, it's going to run on propane while we're driving, not 12 volt. Because I couldn't figure out the charging method for 12 volt. So hopefully it stays on. If not, we have the important stuff in the cooler, the meat. Um, other than that, I think we're ready to go. Yeah. 290s vehicles, what can go wrong? <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to Merry Widow Mountain. Um, it's going to be our first nice stop. Hopefully, I think it's going to be a really nice view. Uh, hopefully the truck and the 4Runner can make it up that logging road. Uh, but we'll see once we get there. All right, out.